Hi, I'm Sharla from Freezer Meals 101. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making five chicken dump recipes. These are the same recipes that are in my video called um, 10 Meals in 10 Minutes or something like that. But I've had some comments on that video that people don't know the recipes and that it goes too fast to be able to show people really how to do it at home. So I wanted you guys to be able to make these for yourselves. And so what I've done is actually I'm making this meal plan free for you. So there will be a link in the description box below. And if you click on that link, you'll be able to download your entire meal plan for this. So it'll include the recipes, the shopping lists that you can print out and take with you, and the printable labels. What's great about this particular meal plan, and actually I do this in all my meal plans, but I include a shopping list for if you're making one of each recipe and a shopping list for if you're making two of each recipe because it's almost as fast to make two sets of everything, so you might as well fill up your freezer. And today I could have easily doubled this, but I'm actually a little short on freezer space right now because I've been in a bit of a freezer meal frenzy <laughs> and uh, it's a good problem to have, but that's why we're just making one of everything. So it might take me longer than 10 minutes this time because I'm going to be explaining step by step what I'm doing, but um, I don't think it'll take much longer and it might even take less time, we'll see. This, is, um, this meal plan is plan four from my chicken dump recipes cookbook and it is the fastest plan in the book. So it's not necessarily the healthiest because it doesn't include a lot of extra vegetables and things like that, but it is um, tried and true recipes that are delicious and they're pretty healthy. Like, again, you might have to have a side with them or whatever because they don't have that many veggies. But anyway, let's get started. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and put in large freezer bags my chicken and taken the yucky bits off. If you're not squeamish about chicken, you can just toss them in, but I like to take all the gross bits off before I add them into the bag. So I've done chicken breasts for four of the recipes. So there's four or five chicken breasts in each bag, depending on the size. And for one of them, I did chicken thighs. So there are nine chicken thighs. So like eight to 10 is a good, um, good for these recipes and like three to five of the chicken breasts will work depending on the size of the breasts and the size of your family. But the sauce will cover whether it's three to five. So the first one we're doing is called salsa chicken and super easy, you've got your chicken and then you're gonna do two teaspoons of taco seasoning and one cup of salsa and that's it. So this can be cooked in the crock pot or in the oven and you can serve it with potatoes or rice. Now, I'll share with you a little trick that helps for any freezer cooking you're going to do, and that is to get all of your ingredients out ahead of time. This will ensure that you're not running around your kitchen wasting time, and also that you don't accidentally um, forget something that you should have bought at the store. So it just saves you a lot of headache and time. So I've gotten everything out, or I hope it's everything anyway, that I need for all the recipes. So that's it for this one. So we're one recipe down. So you're just going to take out all of the extra air that you can, because when you're doing freezer cooking, air is the enemy. And I know that if you are a subscriber and you've watched my videos before, I sound like a broken record, but air is what gives you freezer burn. So I just wanna make sure that everybody knows that getting that air out is really important. So then you're just gonna squish it around to combine those flavors, even though it's only two ingredients on that chicken. And we'll slap a label on it. And that one is done. Okay, so the next one is Greek chicken. This one has more than just the two ingredients. So I'll grab one of these bags here, get this one. And then um, we're gonna 
put, now I'm going to add something. This is not in the meal plan. This is something I just thought of recently, but I had some crumbled feta and I think it would taste really good on top of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the crumbled feta to a medium sized bag. And then we're going to staple this bag above the seal onto the bag with chicken so that on the day that this cooks near the end of the cooking time we can sprinkle this on top and I think it's really going to finish this off nicely. Now of course this Greek chicken would go really well with lemon potatoes, a Greek salad, or other Mediterranean inspired sides. Okay so I've gotten the air out of there and sealed that and then we're going to do one tablespoon oregano, three to four cloves of minced garlic. So whenever I do freezer meals, I um, use garlic in a jar. It just saves time again, and I'm all about the saving time. So just kind of estimate what three to four cloves of garlic would be. And then we're gonna do three tablespoons of lemon juice. This is a really tasty one, and I know just from the flavors that we're adding, you can probably tell um, that it's going to have a really fresh taste to it. So, Now we're gonna do half a cup of olive oil. When I was putting all of the things out for today's recipes, I also set out a bunch of measuring cups and just got myself ready that way too. That way I don't have to wash in between. And that will save time. <laughs> Are you noticing a theme here? It's all about the time saving. Okay, so half a cup of olive oil, and then we're going to do half a teaspoon of mint. I'm not gonna measure my mint, I just have some fresh mint here, which is best if you have it, but you can use just dried mint as well if you prefer. And kind of of the belief that when it comes to something like fresh mint, more is better so you don't have to put quite as much as I'm putting in the um, half a teaspoon is fine this is going to be more than that but I think it'll be delicious and then we're just gonna do some salt and pepper now for this one you're gonna bake it in a 350 degree oven for an hour or you can do it in the slow cooker again and I love recipes that can be done either or because I find for me, it depends what I have going on that day, if it's going to be a better like crock pot day or oven day, just depending on like where we're at in terms of appointments for the kids and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, we've got our fresh mint. Oh, that smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. We need like smell a vision like in the Willy Wonka movie. Okay, so some salt and pepper, and this one is done. We're just going to staple that feta cheese to the top, and this will make a really nice meal. When you take this out to thaw, the flavors will marinate even more. So, um, it yeah, it's just a good one. <laughs> okay, now add the label to that one, and we are already two down. So. Next one, you know what? I'm just gonna get this one over with because it's called Easiest Chicken and it's called Easiest Chicken for a reason. We have our chicken, 
we have a bottle of Italian dressing. It doesn't matter if it's creamy Italian, zesty Italian, whatever, anything works. And this makes a really moist chicken and surprisingly flavorful. So again, you're gonna need to make sides for this, but at least your protein is done. And when I say done, I mean done, because just like that, we have a dinner made. <laughs> doesn't get any easier than that, which is why it's called easiest chicken. Okay, three down. Now, this next one is a, hmm, which one should I make? I think we'll do the Jamaican jerk chicken next. So this is the one that I do with thighs, and we do a lot of our actually chicken meals with thighs, just find they're pretty tender and quite popular with our family. But the Jamaican jerk, just, we've made it with chicken breasts before and it's just not as good. It's, it's just one that you need to do the thighs with, in my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to do these um, nine chicken thighs and then we're gonna do a third of a cup chopped green onions. So I had prepped this ahead of time. So this is our chopped green onion. And then a quarter cup lime juice and I might as well go ahead and use this measuring cup since it's going in the same recipe anyway. Now this um, Jamaican jerk chicken, very flavorful. You can put a little bit less seasoning if um, your family likes things milder. It's kind of a medium spice in my opinion, um, but we like things really spicy. So for us, it's kind of a medium spice. You might find it spicy. Uh, then you've got your quarter cup of lime juice. Now the other thing that's great about this is it's so good on the barbecue. Okay, and then two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons soy sauce and two tablespoons liquid honey. So went ahead and melted some honey in the microwave. So just add that now since it's nice and liquidy. And we'll grab our olive oil and soy sauce. And I'm sure you can see how much time it's saving to have all the ingredients here and to have all of the things that you need, like your measuring spoons and measuring cups just make sit fly by. Okay, now all that's left is the Jamaican jerk seasoning, but I don't wanna put this like honey, soy sauce, olive oil um, tablespoon in the seasoning. So I'm gonna go grab another measuring spoon. I'll be right back. Okay, all that's left for this recipe is to add our Jamaican jerk seasoning. So we're gonna do two tablespoons again. If you think that will be too spicy for your family, then feel free to make it milder and add less. You could do one tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half or whatever you like. And if you like to kick it up, you can add three tablespoons. You do you. <laughs> okay, so we are done our Jamaican jerk chicken. Oh. That spice is going right up my nose. I hope it doesn't make me sense. Okay, we're taking out all the air and then we're going to give it a good shake. So shimmy that around. Now my neighbor Christy that I make my big freezer meal marathons with, she's the one that actually introduced me to Jamaican jerk chicken. And she was introduced to it actually in Jamaica, which is probably a great way to come to love Jamaican jerk chicken, right? So we've been eating this for a lot of years now since Christy introduced it to us. And just really love the flavors. Okay, so we'll slap a label on that. 
And then we just have our shredded barbecue chicken. And for that one, um, it's best to cook it in the crock pot um, because then you, it's easier to shred when you're done. So it pretty much just, I would recommend the crock pot for that. Um, we're gonna do, I've got my minced onion. There it is. I kind of grouped my ingredients together too, depending on what recipe they were going to, for. So that helps too, because it helps me stay like a little bit organized. So we've got our um, three quarter cup minced onion and then four cloves of garlic. So again, I'm just guessing, putting in quite a bit. Now, when we make this, I always make a garlic mayo and then serve it on buns with the garlic mayo and it's just amazing. It's also a really good recipe to take camping if you take your crock pot with you camping, which sometimes I do if we're renting a trailer. So anyway, then we're gonna do a bottle of barbecue sauce. You can use whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is. I just grabbed whatever was cheapest. And then we're gonna do half a cup of apple cider vinegar and just double and triple checking all my recipes here because I don't want to get distracted and forget to add something. Okay. So yeah, half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Again, I'm just going to use this measuring cup that had the onions in it because it's going in the same recipe and dishes are not my favorite thing. So if I can cut back on dishes, I'm always happy about that. So there you go. Now this one is done. I wasn't watching the time, but I would be really surprised if that took longer than 10 minutes, even with explaining everything. So I really do think that you could make all five of these or 10 if you're doubling it. And probably, you know, when you're first getting started, it might take you 15 minutes or whatever. And if you want to include the time for getting the yucky bits off the chicken and um, cutting up your green onion and um, mincing your onion, then, you know, maybe it's like 15, 20 minutes, but really to be able to make five or 10 meals in even that amount of time is a pretty good deal. So, um, we're gonna add our last label. Again, if you want to grab these recipes for yourself, as well as the printable labels and shopping lists and everything that you need, you can just go down into the description box, click on the link, and you can download those for free. Um, thank you for joining me today, and I invite you to subscribe if you're looking for easy recipes to feed your family or to spend less time in the kitchen and spend more time living. Thanks again and happy cooking.